Welcome back! Today, we are visiting another butterfly garden to play around with the 100mm macro lens. Butterfly gardens are one of my favorite places to go with this lens because it's easy to capture gorgeous photos. Everywhere you turn, there's a new butterfly. Starting out my first photo was this butterfly. I like the splash of orange on his wings. Here is the raw photo, and in the edited version, I reduced the green color from the background to get more focus on the butterfly. Did some dodging and burning for the shadows and highlights, and brought out the texture in the eye. Next up is this green butterfly staying still for me. That's another reason why I'd rather go to an indoor garden instead of an outdoor one, because the butterflies tend to not be so scared of you. For the edit, I mostly just increased the exposure. And back over here in the corner is where all the activity is. This is going to be a fun one to photograph while it's hovering. Instead of using a fast shutter speed to freeze the flying motion, I wanted to use a slower shutter speed to bring out the motion blur to contrast the one sitting still. Here's one I saw hiding behind a leaf. This one has bigger eyes than the others. Here's one that at first looks cool because of all the colors and how big it is, but after a while of looking at it, I think it's my least favorite. I like this one because I could just lay my camera on the bar right in front of it. This burnt orange one I really liked because of the dark stripes in its wings that makes it look like shadows. I couldn't get a good angle of it so I ended up going to the other side for the photo. With the edit, I dodged and burned the wing to enhance the dark spots and brought out the details in the eye. This flower had a type of bee flying around it. I wanted to try to photograph it in mid-flight. It was really hard to catch it in focus though because the lens has such a shallow depth of field. This was the best photo I could get after many attempts, but it wasn't the sharpest. This white bird stayed around me for a couple of photographs before it flew away. These parrots were really hard to photograph. They didn't want to stay still. I couldn't even get a good video of it. Now right here are the photos from this round. I would say my favorite is number one because of the details in the eye. So which photo do you like most? Vote by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.